Okay, we're going to demonstrate how to do a, a cold resin cast uh, with the RTV silicon. We're going to mix some pigment with the casting resin and also some bronze powder just to give it that kind of um, old bronze finish. We've got the polyester casting resin, black polyester pigment, and the bronze powder. I'm going to estimate for this mould, it's going to take roughly about 150 mils. Uh, so I'm going to mix up about 200 mils just to be on the safe side. Once I've done the cast, whatever's left over, I can just check, see how much is left, and just deduct that from my next cast the next time I produce something from this mould. So if I want 200 mils of complete mixture and the bronze powder should be mixed at least at a 1 to 1 mix ratio by volume to get a good bronze cast that means I need 100 mils of bronze powder and 100 mils of resin. The pigment depending on the colour usually mixed at 10% by weight. For your whites and your lighter colours we would normally say a 15%. We're only doing a little mix. To be honest it's quite a difficult thing to kind of weigh out such small amounts. Um, so when you mix into a 100ml my suggestion is just to get a small amount on a stick at a time and just mix it in gradually till you've got a nice colour. see the, the black with it being quite dense it doesn't take a lot to make a dramatic change if that had been white you would have need a lot more now we need to top that up with 100 mils of bronze powder so just keep adding that until it goes to the 200 mil mark Good mix in. Okay, I'm going to put the catalyst in now, and that should be done at one percent. For a cast this size so it doesn't get too hot. Now when you're adding the catalyst remember not to add it at the, 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 the rate of the full mixture because you've only got 100 mils of resin in there not 200 mils so we're only, only going to base it on the resin that we've put in. Uh, so we'll literally only need one mil of hardener for this. You could, if you wanted to, add the catalyst to the resin first before you mix the powder in as long as you're confident you've got enough time to do the pour, so in other words as long as you don't wander off and be mixing anything else. Okay, so I'm just going to pour it, same way as we did with the silicon, just a very thin strand. Try and hit dead centre at the bottom of the silicon mould if you can. Just let it travel up slowly to help get rid of the air bubbles. If you pour it too fast, you're just going to trap a lot of air in there. So 
So that was a 200ml mixture. And we've got 50 mils left over. Just over 50 mils of what's left in the tub there. So the next time I do this cast, I know that I'll only need 150 mils in total of mixture. And you can just mark that on your mould for reference next time. And then you're not wasting resin and bronze powder. Okay, so we're casting resin set now. So we're going to pop this out of the mould. Put some gloves on because you might get some sharp edges around there. We'll just prise the mould off the sides first. Put my fingers in. There's your finished cast. So if you remember, we'll put bronze powder in this. I'm going to bring up the bronze look. I'm just going to take some wire wool. See that you can see the bronze start to show through. And because we put the black in, that darken the brown finish you get from the bronze. A detail cast that shows up a lot more detail like this because you've got all the darker areas and the low points. You can't add more black pigment just to get a really solid black colour. Make it stand out further. As you can see that works quite well. So that's the bronze powder. We do uh, brass and copper. Um, it's also a cast we, don't, we did earlier out of aluminium. 